Hi everybody, here is some netball handling drills for you to have a little go at home. So for the first one, just pop your ball up above your head like you're going to take a shot and I want you to make sure that the ball is in your fingertips with that nice doggy shape that we've done at school. Just start with flicking it up just above in your head, catching it about 20 times. And what I want you to focus on is trying to get that back spin as you're flicking it and it's just going above your head and catching it again. After you've had a go at that, try it on one leg and see if you can keep balancing for another 20. Oh. <laughs> And then switch legs once you've managed 20 of those. Okay, and then you can try and have a little go on one hand, flicking upwards. So just using the other hand to support it. And it's all coming from your wrist, okay? It's that follow through of the wrist to try and get the back spin. So we're getting your fingertips just on one hand, up and on the side, so you can see here. Just trying to flick it up and keeping it above your head and imparting that back spin on the ball that I'm doing here. Then have a little go on the other hand. Ooh. So if you're like me, you can see my left hand isn't as strong. Okay, and then again, have a little go on one leg and one hand. See if you can get 20, nice. Oh, not very good on the one leg. 20 um, of these in a row without wobbling over or falling. And then again, try on the other leg <laughs> and other hand, lifting it up. As such. Okay, okay, so you're going to need two balls for the next one. Um, I've got a football and a netball, but you can use which, whichever two balls you've got. And have a little go at switching them over and catching. See if you can do 20 of these in a row. And then try again the other way. Oh! Not so easy that way for me. So going left or clockwise, I'm finding a little bit more difficult. <laughs> and then again, if you're super great, uh, if you're great at this, try again on one leg. See if you can get 20. And on the other leg. See if you can get 20 again. And again, forget, don't forget to try both directions, which I don't like that clockwise one. Okay, for the next one then, you're gonna practice bouncing one and tipping the other one up at the same time. So quite a bit of coordination practice for you. So like this. <laughs> oh. okay, then have a little bit of a And then, if you are super amazing, try on one leg. Can you do 20 of these in a row? Oh, I can't yet. Keep going. Try all of these sets, trying to do 20 in a row and then move on to the harder versions. Let me know how you get on.